Today on the channel, the Hollywood stars shine bright with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Playmates Movie Star Editions. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles unboxing and review and today on the channel we're talking movie turtles from Playmates but for all your Ninja Turtle needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save 10% on all in stock items and of course $79 and above does ship free you got to get the deal out there and i don't know if these are going to go to entertainment earth eventually but currently if you're on the hunt for these walmart is the place to be that's where i picked these up and they're about ten dollars a figure not a bad deal at all and i was kind of out on this and then i was back in and i do remember the original versions of these from playmates back in the day and i thought they looked just god awful so i never picked those up and you guys know i've talked about it before i dabbled with the turtles as a kid i had a lot of the core group but i didn't go into a bunch of doubles things like that as i had wrestling and gi joe to be collecting some of this stuff kind of was more ancillary but all these years later seeing them on the pegs very very nostalgic i didn't expect that to be the case but that's what playmates is trying to do and playmates like a lot of these companies they're trying to get the most out of their molds and look no further than this basically you got different heads but the body's the same weapons are the same outside of the primary weapon as we do know but of course we also know we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there so without further ado let's start it off and it looks like Raphael is starting off first for us here old movie star raf the dramatic debuting dude is what it says you saw them in the 1990s movies now you see them on in your own hands okay that works as seen in the 1990s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, movie star Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, got some good artwork at the top, you got some cartoon artwork, you got some movie artwork, you got the plastic prison of course, uh, a lot of hits being played on the front of the package here, very very iconic like I did say, Nickelodeon logo on the back, you got the cross sell of the four turtles there, some more scenes, we got a little take there, what's it say, uh, mutant movie moments, scene 13, take one, Collect all the movie star turtles as seen on the big screen. So how about that? Playmates looking good. Does say 2023 on the bottom, so there should be no confusion. Nobody's going to mistake this for a 1990s figure. At least they shouldn't. At least they shouldn't. But there it goes. Up high. See you later. Goodbye. Then we get the old turtle power here, old Raphael. And he is locked in. He's got very on brand here. We got a green twist tie or green string going on. I'm here for that. And then we do get a clip there holding the weapons tree together. There's that. There's that. And there's that. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Let's get down to old Raphael here. Now we're going to look at this weapon tree. I'm going to look through this whole weapon tree here. And then we're going to talk about the figure. But we get two throwing stars there on the end. We get, I always call that the pizza weapon. It looks like a slice of pizza, more of a dagger type weapon. Of course, on the end, you got the iconic size for one Raphael. We know all about that. Once again, we get a little pizza slice weapon, as I always did call it. And then I've never known the name for this. Always think of this one with foot soldiers, but it's got the kind of blade at the front and then the curl at the top. I don't know. It's a fancy ninja weapon is what we'll call it there. But that's the old weapon tree. To me, I'm only going to be using the size for these. The other ones, I'm just going to leave them on a tree, put them all in a baggie together, and we're going to be off to the races right there. That's my plan at least. But now we get old Raphael and very interesting figures here. Now I see something right off the bat I'm not a big fan of, and we'll talk about that in a second. What is going on? This belt's falling down on him. I don't know. Well, we got some issues with this figure, maybe. Let's start at the head, though, and let's start with the skin tone. That's one thing that's very different than the traditional Ninja Turtles from Playmates. This is a much brighter skin tone on Raphael here. A very kind of dark, I don't want to say neon, but a darker, colorful green is what we got going on. And then one thing that always you think of the movie Turtles and you think of these turtles by the spots on the skin, these little black spots with the white around them. 
I guess supposed to be turtle spots, I guess we'll call them. I'm not exactly sure what you want to call them there, but he does have that throughout. Then you got the shell, got some dings and dents in the front, under, bottom part of the shell, whatever you want to call it. Got those turtle knee pads going on. You got two, tur two ninja turtle toes going there. And then you got the three fingers, of course, both gripping hands going on. Head sculpt, I want to say it looks like Raphael, but what makes it look like Raphael to me in my brain, of course, when I think of Ninja Turtles, I always go to the original cartoon series, and I think of red equals Raphael. That's what we got right here, looking good. He's got his bandana, he got some nice movement out of that. You got an interesting smile. He's kind of got the little cheesy grin going on there for him. Great for a movie star. Great for a movie star. Just kind of off there like a young Gracho is kind of what he looks like going on there. But definitely looking interesting, old Raphael. But a good looking figure as a whole. I will definitely say that. And I like these figures a lot more now than I did way back when, which is very interesting if you ask me. Now, articulation is interesting, and the thing that drives me nuts right off the bat is, you put his arms just like this, you can see those white pegs in the arms. I do not like that at all. I guess you can turn the arms in, but if you turn the arms out, you splay them out, you're going to see that white peg. That really takes things away from me. I am not a fan of that. So to me, you have to almost display this guy with both of his arms in like he's hulking up. I don't know. And then we do get the belt, of course, very iconic. You've got a spot for both sides in the front. But this thing is so loose, and there's no way to adjust it, no way to tighten it. Obviously, you pull it higher up on the shell, it does stay. But then it looks like he's wearing like high-water pants or something like that. He's pulling it up like a young Steve Urkel. I don't know what's going on there. So not a massive fan of that. That belt is way too loose. I wish it was tighter. And i got to imagine, once you throw those sides in there, it's going to add a little bit of weight. It's going to fall down around his uh, legs there. So definitely interesting. Forgot to mention the red wrist tape and the red elbow pads on here as well. But that's it. That's Raphael. Now, he does got a big peg hole in the feet. Not going to work. Not going to work on any of these stands here. So we do got that. It's just not going to go anywhere. But we shouldn't really need stands with him, as we should be able to make him stand on his own. And we did that right there. But I don't know what I'm going to do about that belt. That thing keeps falling down on me. That is definitely annoying. But there it is. There's Raphael. Now we're going to turn our attention to the next one here. We're going to Leonardo. We're going to the leader of the bunch. Definitely looking good in the plastic prison. I got to think it's the same on the front. Movie star Leo, the master mutant matinee idol. And then it says all the same stuff going on uh, that we read on the first one there. So definitely interesting. Same thing on the back, mutant moments, nothing new on the back. So the same old song and dance back there. But let's get Leo out of the package here. Let's see what all the fuss is about with the leader of the Ninja Turtles. See you later. Goodbye. Get the old scissors out. We get the old plastic prison. Once again, we get the weapons tree. And then, of course, we got himself, Leonardo himself, locked in. Pop old Leo out. Pop the old tree. The tree of weapons, because I know whenever I go to weapons, that's where they are. They're hanging around in a tree. A weapons tree, that is. Skyhook. See you later. Goodbye. And we got old Leonardo. Now, once again, like I said, we got all the same weapons on the inside, but you do got his two katana blades on the outside. So that's all I'm going to break off this weapons rack. Uh, that's the way it goes for me. But we do have those. But now we dive in here on Leonardo. And once again, we got the very loose uh, belt on that. I don't like that. But there is a clasp here at the front. But it needs to be moved over or something. We need to find a way to make these belts a little bit tighter. So not a huge fan. That's probably the biggest uh, hindrance and the biggest annoyance on these figures for me. There's no doubt about it. Now, we all know this is Leonardo. Once again, I go back to my brain. Blue equals Leonardo. That's what it is. We got the same spots, the same coloring we saw with Raphael. Definitely looks good. You got the blue instead of the red. That's the ob obvious difference between the two we've talked about here. Uh, definitely like that. Now, we do got a spot on the back of the shelf to shell, not shelf, but shell to store those blades. So we do like that. And then same articulation. Once again, those pegs inside there showing. Just not a big fan of that. Not a big fan at all on that one there. And then you do get the cheesy smile. He's got the big old Kyle in second grade or third grade. I went in third grade and I wore the Ultimate Warrior t-shirt. Now, I was a kid of the 80s growing up where, you know, your parents went to work and you got yourself to school every day. And that's what I did. And my parents, they told me this was what I was wearing to school pictures that day. And I said, nah, nah, Ultimate Warrior is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Ultimate Warrior t-shirt. So I left that at home. I put my Warrior shirt on, went to school, got my school picture taken in my Ultimate Warrior shirt like any good kid would do. If I can find that picture, I'll try to put that up here. Uh, but it was definitely a good picture. And I kind of had, uh, I think that smile, at least in my brain, this is the kind of smile I'd have. The big old Leonardo smile because I'm wearing my Warriors shirt on a school picture day. But that's the way it goes from time to time. But definitely an interesting one, Leonardo. 
Not a lot different. As we keep saying here, and we're going to say it again, we're going to be a broken record. Basically the same figure four times with just a different head going on. So there's old Leonardo. Now we're going to do Donatello. Nope, Michelangelo. I tried to guess, but we got Michelangelo. Once again, same packaging. Same exact packaging. We'll have a different blurb down here. Movie star Mikey, the slapstick celluloid star. And of course, my favorite turtle, as we do know. Uh, and then the rest of the stuff's the same. Ages four and up, all that kind of fun stuff. Movie star Michelangelo. Yeah, the hits being played. The movie hits being played here today. The original movie, Ninja Turtles. There it goes. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison. Once again, we got the weapons tree. We got to get that out. We got to see what's going on. We got to see what all the fuss is about. And there's always fuss with these Ninja Turtles, as we know. Some may say there's more fuss now than ever before with the cartoon movie. Uh, playing to a whole new generation. See you later. Goodbye. Weapons uh, rack, weapons tree once again. We got the nunchucks on the end. Same thing on the inside. So we kind of knew that was coming right there. And speaking of things we know that's coming, we got Mikey here. And Mikey, the slapstick guy, has the least a bit of smile here. He's got the Kermit the Frog smile. That Kermit the Frog where, I don't know, you know that look Kermit gives from time to time. He's got that going on. So I don't know. Turtles, frogs, they kind of get along. They kind of don't. We know how that goes from the Turtles series as we do now. Everything's going to be the same. Articulation's the same. Different colors is the name of the game here. The orange for, obviously, Michelangelo. Gotta say, though, his belt is staying up a little bit better. We got spots there on the back to put those nunchucks in if you want to store them there. Do have the same issue with the body. Not a huge fan of that. Now, I said earlier, I didn't have the original versions of these. If you did have the original versions, let me know in the comments down below. Did you still have this little unsightly gap there? Or did you have to kind of display them all hulking up like that? You guys let me know there. But Mikey being my favorite one here. I will say, I believe, yes, it is true. Another thing I haven't mentioned is the spots are different and in different spots for these guys. He's got more of a black spot, just uh, closer together, whatever you want to call it. He's a little bit more spread out over here. Same thing with Leonardo. He's got a little bit more spots on his head. So there's some spot differences over there. Not my dog spot. Not my liver spot. My spots on my turtles, like a young Arnie Anderson right there. But definitely Michelangelo doing Michelangelo things all day long in the movie. Just always weird to me that he's supposed to be the slapstick guy, as they said, but doesn't have a smile. What are we doing? What are we doing, playmates? What are we doing? Now we're going to finish it off with old Donatello. As I always say, on the playground, nobody liked Donatello. But all these years later, it seems like he is the most favorite turtle. So shout out to Donatello. Shout out to him. Nothing on the back. But it does have a little different on the front here. Movie star Donnie, the clever cowabunga creator. So how about that? Creating cowabungas all day long. All day long. And we'll pull him out of the package. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. A little Skyhook action. Skyhook again. See you later. Like a young Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, really, at the end of the day. Does anybody do the Skyhook anymore? It used to be a lethal weapon. I know my dad, when we play, it was a lethal weapon on the old uh, hoop yard for me and my dad when I was a kid. But he's got the tree there, and then, of course, you got himself. Going to cut him out. There it is, right? It's like so. And like so. So let it be written. So let it be done. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Weapons rack once again. Got the two staffs there for Donnie. I uh, only need one for him, though, but he does come with two if you're uh, keeping track at home. Then you get all the similar weapons all over again. Now we get to Donatello himself looking good. He's got a nice green skin tone here, and he's got a very, very, uh, I'm confused smile. This is like, this is like uh, Donatello going to a restaurant, and he really wanted that pepperoni pizza, and all of his brothers said, would it be okay if we just got sausage? And he's just like... Yeah, yeah, he doesn't want to make any waves at the dinner table. It's a family dinner. Splinter's here. Uh, April came over. We know how that goes. And he just didn't want to make any waves. He just kind of grits and bears it. He's going to eat that sausage for the good of the team. That's what's going to go on there. And that's kind of the look he has. Of course, as we've said with all of them, the biggest difference is the color. We got purple, Donatello purple. We know how that goes. Got a spot on the back of the shell to, of course, put that staff into. Knee pads, elbow pads, wrist tape in purple as well. Two toes, three fingers, playing all the turtle hits at the end of the day. And then, of course, articulation can be the same as everybody else's. And once again, you got those kind of bolts in there that just eh, doesn't do a lot for me. I wish they fit on peg stands as well. But like I said, if you play around with them, you can get these guys to stand fairly easily. You don't really need a stand. And it's kind of weird. You can buy some stands that cost more than the action figures. And that seems kind of strange to do. So I think that works out okay. Now, 
As a whole, this set is pretty cool. It's just another incarnation of the Turtles to have on your shelf. Uh, I put the Playmates figures pretty low. They're on a bottom shelf. They're a bottom shelfer for me where the NECAs, Super 7s, and some of the other ones kind of go up to the top. But the Playmates, they got their place for me. And very nostalgic all these years later. And I think that's where a lot of us are in our Playmates collections. Some issues with these ones, of course. I'd like some different facial expressions, but it is what it is. I'm not going to get too worked up about that. The biggest travesty with these is some of the belts being a little bit too loose. They needed to have those tight, more tight. That would have been nice to see. But for what you get for 10 bucks, you really can't complain too much about these. And it's always fun to complete a turtle team. And I like the movie representation against, of course, as I do have right here, the regular editions, which are never going to stand compared to the other ones. But we'll have them in the glamour shots as well. But these are the most iconic turtles to me because these were my first turtles. This was the first representation of turtles in my collection. So I do like this, but I do like the yin and yang between the two so very very fun at the end of the day always fun to get some new turtles and for 40 bucks about the cost of one uh, ultimate uh, NECA figure heck of a deal if you ask me so there it is not perfect but not uh, the best somewhere in the middle that's going to be the final verdict but what's your final verdict on this set all in all out playing the long game easy pass let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below and of course you made it this far don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some we got even more content for you if you can believe it over on the patreon channel patreon your place to get all kinds of early access to stuff giveaways dog stuff pizza reviews you name it it's all over there on the old Patreon. And Patreon, the best way to support this channel and all it does bring. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on, of course, threads and on Instagram. So for the movie star turtles, I'm movie star Kyle. And I'll see you guys all real soon.